What's up, y'all? Thanks for tuning into my channel. So this is going to be a crystal pick a card. So you're gonna have three crystals that you can choose from. We have emerald, we have orange calcite, and we have sulfur. All right, so those options are gonna be posted in the description box down below, all right? And yeah, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, subscribe to my channel, like this video real quick. And if you want a three card reading, I just put those out. All right, three card readings for 13, or I'm sorry, for $15. Um, look at the description box down below to see how you can get a reading with me. So let's start with Emerald. All right, Emerald, so let's see what this energy is looking like. All right, so you have the Four of Wands, so much to celebrate. Send gratitude to the divine and the angels for the peace and prosperity coming to you. Peace and contentment in your personal life. Emphasis on peace, okay? Emphasis on the peace in your life. All right, some of y'all could be moving or you, you have moved or you're coming into a very peaceful relationship i'm getting like peaceful home all right i heard happy wife happy life so maybe some of y'all are getting married or like your marriage is just like your bond is strengthening some of y'all are meeting um like who you're gonna marry in the future all right so for the tarot, you have the Seven of Pentacles, the Three of Pentacles, and the Page of Cups. So for this energy, yeah, I'm definitely picking up the, um, the fact that somebody wants to invest in you. They want to build with you. They see that what you have complements what they have and it's something about you that's just so like it's freeing like it's really airy it's fresh it's new like it's pure and it's real and it's raw okay i'm also getting like love messages like y'all could be texting back and forth like cute little texts and stuff like that okay i'm also getting for others of you you'll be hearing about a home all right, some of you um, want to invest in property. You will be um, able to build on new land, okay? Some of y'all will be able to live by water. I feel like that's what a lot of y'all have been wanting to do for a long time. All right, just like a peaceful, serene area, maybe in the country for some of y'all. All right, yeah, some of y'all may, may want to move to the country or where there's just not a lot of people. I'm hearing that song by Cheers. Cheers! Haha, <laughs> cheers, all right? I don't know why I got I got that, but I'm getting celebration, cheers. But yeah, drinks, that could be a thing. Y'all could be going out, but that one show, Cheers from the 80s, they, uh, that song is like, sometimes you wanna go where everybody, sometimes you wanna go where everybody knows your name. Why do I know that song? Don't ask me, okay? I'm, I'm an old soul, just remember that, okay? All right, so let's move on to the Akashic Tarot. So you have the Queen of Keys in reverse. So let's see what this card is talking about. What is the Queen of Keys in reverse? It says, with this card reversed, you could experience an emotional distancing from a businesswoman or have a difference of opinion or dispute with a woman in authority. You or a woman you know may be thinking about quitting a job. A higher position that you want may not be available or a position that you've earned may no longer be fulfilling for you. In some cases, this reversal can indicate being laid off or dis distancing in a love relationship. Regardless of how this card reversal, reversal manifests, this is a time to consider your aspirations and all that brings you 
to your happiest next step in life. So maybe y'all did quit a job, okay? Or broke up with somebody. Yeah, maybe there was distance in a relationship that had caused a breakup. Spirit is wanting you to do the things that make you happy. And especially for work, all right? Like, focus on the, the type of work that you like to do, okay? Yeah, focus on the type of work that you want to do. Because I feel like it's talking about, like, it's something may not be available to you. So I'm getting, like... For a lot of y'all, y'all may not like the type of jobs that are out there or you feel like you're not cut out to work a regular job, you know? And I feel like Spirit is wanting you to invest in yourself and create something new. All right, so let's look at the Oracle of Shadows and Light. You have the Pink Lotus Fairy, A Time for Spirit, card number 43. All right, so let's see what card number 43 is talking about for you all. It says spiritual quest, travel, calm, relaxed yoga pose, self-love and self-acceptance, third eye and crown chakra activation, chakra awakening, connection to all, crown chakra connected to the universe, receiving universal love messages self-connected peacefully to the earth, peaceful flowing energy in the body, tranquil, sublime spiritual moments of connection, blessings showering upon you due to correct relationships with body and soul, time to take a class, course, or a new study program, time to welcome in a new teacher, either in the form of a physical being or perhaps a path that speaks to your heart at this time, or a spirit guide who resonates with you. Know that while this path in and tranquil, easeful philosophy may seem out of character for you. It's a deep and true part of yourself that's long yearned for acknowledgement and fulfillment and the, nir the nirvana that's on its way. It's a lot about peace. Y'all are bringing in a lot of peace in your lives or y'all are just very peaceful people. All right, and you're attracting in a peaceful life, a peaceful mate, peaceful home, peaceful surroundings, all right? Spirit wants you to, like, be at peace. Like, that's what I'm feeling. Like, the Most High wants you to be at peace here. Maybe y'all have gone through a lot in the past, and now it's, it's really time for y'all to just, you know, be at peace now. All right, so let's move on to the Angels of Atlantis. Okay, yeah, let's see what y'all got with them. So you have Archangel Zachiel Security. Okay, you have Archangel Sandalphon, Evolution. And you have Archangel Gabriel, Inspiration. Okay. Yeah, there's something about whatever this opportunity is that's coming in for you all or has come in for y'all and if so congratulations but this is going to bring you a lot of security and stability i feel like you all are very connected as well okay you've worked a lot on your heart i feel like this is what's brought this in all right and um emerald does work with the heart chakra all right that's a heart chakra stone so there's something about feeling secure that it's like love. Y'all feel secure within self or something like that. Like y'all have evolved and I feel like y'all are inspiring to other people about how y'all have evolved and found security within self. Okay? Yeah, y'all are in er, y'all are inspiring to others or someone is inspired by you to do better, to evolve. Yeah. Yeah, y'all are like spiritual leaders for some of y'all or you will be. People want to invest in you. Uh, I'm also getting people have been watching you like grow. 
all right yeah people have been watching you grow so you're about to get something really big or you're about to have something really amazing to celebrate here all right and this is all i heard sacrifice maybe i had to sacrifice okay or you've made many sacrifices <clears throat> All right, so let's see how y'all can take care of yourselves. So you have card number 34, massage. You have card number 53, use your hands. And you have card number 47, sound healing. All right, so yeah, there's something about like, maybe y'all are like Reiki healers for some of y'all. Excuse me. Yeah, some of y'all do Reiki. Or you would do really well in Reiki. All right. Some of y'all need a massage. And also, yeah. Maybe y'all make music for some of y'all. Your music is very healing. It's like it reverberates or something. It's like it, I'm just getting healing. Healing music. All right. Some of y'all, yeah. Maybe some of y'all play music while y'all do massages or something. Or maybe you play music while you create. I'm getting the way someone touches you is very, it makes you feel secure. Like the way they hold you is like, it makes you feel secure. I'm also getting for some of y'all, your music is an inspiration to others. Or your music inspires other people. And then for others of you, I'm getting that your work has evolved. Okay. Your work, um, the things that you do, the things that you the things that you've created has evolved to another level. All right. So let's see what the goddesses have to say. So you have Quan Yin compassion. Release judgments about yourself and others and focus on the love and light that's within everyone. You have Kali, endings and beginnings. The old must be released so that the new can start. And you have Guinevere, true love. The romantic strings in your heart have propelled the universe to deliver great love to you. Aw. Okay, so yeah, for some of y'all, it is love. And I feel like y'all had to release somebody in your heart. Okay, you y'all y'all have done a lot of heart chakra healing. Is what I'm getting. Y'all have finally released someone and moved on from someone. All right. With compassion and love. Without judgment. I think you guys have understood something here. And you've evolved. You are, you are an evolved being. I'm hearing butterfly. Y'all are a butterfly. Y'all are an evolved butterfly now. Or someone is. People have seen you evolve. All right. Y'all are so compassionate. I feel like y'all understood understood what had to happen or something like that. Like everything happened for a reason is what I'm getting for you all. You had to end something with someone or a place that you may have thought that was great. Okay, maybe y'all invested a lot into a situation here. Right, but... Your energy is needed somewhere else and something better, all right? So that situation has to end and I'm feeling it's because your true authenticity wasn't, it wasn't appreciated or something like that or you just had to shine and where you were at was not allowing you to be your true self or someone wasn't being true to you, okay? Yeah, hold on, let me look back at, yeah, someone, yeah, distancing, relationship distancing. Yeah. All right, so let's see the ancestor messages that y'all got. So you have, you tried. Striking beauty. 
Karmic debt paid off. Karmic debt. Being watched. And hurt feelings. Okay, okay, okay. So, first and foremost, y'all have paid off a karmic debt by or from whatever had ended with this situation here okay yeah whatever karmic debt you had has been paid off all right so now you can move forward into this new beginning and not have to look back you don't have to worry about oh my gosh like am i gonna fall for this person or is this person gonna try and no okay you don't have to worry about this person anymore or like whatever lessons that came with this person is what I'm getting. Um, yeah, because like I said, I feel like you understood with compassion what had happened, understood that something had to end, all right, and you moved on. And I'm getting, you were not petty about it. Something about not being petty or, I don't know, what's that? There's a word that I'm thinking of, not just petty. Grace, get graceful? Yeah, y'all were graceful in it, okay? You all are very beautiful people. You have, you may have striking beauty. Like, people may look at you and just, like, double take. Like, oh my gosh, like, did I just see what I saw? Like, that's the most beautiful, pers most beautiful person I've ever seen. Like, I don't know, y'all are very beautiful. Or that's what um, this new love is thinking about you, all right? All right, so for your past situation or whatever situation you were in that had ended, you tried. Just know that you tried. You did your best. You did everything that you could, all right? I felt like some of y'all felt like you didn't try or like you should have done more. And Spirit wants you to know that you did enough, okay? You did enough. You were enough, okay? There was nothing more that you could have done because um, that was just something that was meant to end something was just meant to end okay so you're being watched okay and i think it's by somebody whose feelings are hurt or who hurt your feelings all right so this could have been like whatever whoever the situation is um that ended all right but just know that you tried regardless of whether they want you to know that or not you did everything that you were supposed to do all right yeah i'm getting that y'all did y'all were uh y'all went above and beyond all right so that's what i'm getting for y'all emerald i love y'all so much if this was resonating with y'all give me a thumbs up if you want a personal reading um check in the, the description box down below and yeah, if you want to donate to my channel, that information is down below as well, right? So I love y'all so much and I'll talk to y'all later. All right, group two that chose calcite, my orange calcite group. What's up? So let's see what this energy is looking like for y'all. All right, so you have strength, personal power and assertiveness portrayed with kindness, compassion that brings about forgiveness. Realizing that you're stronger than you knew. Okay. All right, so let's see what the tarot is looking like for this, this group. All right, so you have the Eight of Cups, the Two of Swords, and the Hangman. Okay, right off the bat. I'm getting that um, y'all had to walk away from something here, all right? Maybe something that you were juggling with in your head or like confused about or something that kept you stuck, all right? Um, or maybe you were stuck after making a decision for some of you all. Something was very confusing for y'all. For y'all, You knew you had to walk away from something. Maybe some of y'all didn't know what to walk away from or who to walk away from. All right, yeah, some of y'all felt very tied to something or someone. Your personal power may have felt like it was like stripped or taken away. 
or maybe somebody was very controlling yeah maybe someone thought that you were weak or people thought you were weak or that you wouldn't go anywhere or do anything with yourself or with your life all right maybe some of y'all like were confused like are these my thoughts are these someone else's thoughts are these other people's thoughts like y'all had to walk away from people or situations that put y'all in a confused mindset and kept y'all stuck all right and y'all had the strength or will have the strength to do so so let's see let's tap into the akashic tarot all right so you have Arch or archangel <laughs> that is an archangel but uriel and the sphinx in reverse all right so let's see what this is talking about says the sands of the desert have covered you once again not only have you put aside the deep inner work that brings to light your self-discovery but you've also allowed even the mundane little things of life to settle upon you and keep you from your spiritual power Ooh. with this card reversed you may have a strong tendency to slip into old emotional mental and behavioral patterns be conscious and careful the sands are quick you must recommit and make a fast a greater effort now Happily, there is still someone, both in spirit and in the physical world, who can help. Find the kindred soul who shares your quest and open to the Archangel Uriel. Make these relationships and your inner work a renewed priority. You've always been and always will be the most important job you will ever have, so dig in. Dig in. Oh my gosh, this, I've gotten this energy before in a different reading. It's the sands. Yeah, it was the sands. So there's something about quicksand, quicksand. Are you falling deeper and deeper or are you getting out? I feel like y'all got out. Yeah, y'all got out. You had to walk away from something here and it, it took a lot of strength. I think y'all felt tied to something. It was like tethered to you or something like that. Are you felt tethered to somebody? yeah something took a great deal of strength to release it might have been a commitment something kept you stuck and you had to see the truth of it yeah you were bigger than something here or you're you're more powerful than someone or something Spirit wanted you to remember that though. You had the power the whole time. Or you have the power. The power is in your hands. Oh, damn. I did say this before. I did say this before. And I literally said the power is in your hands. Wow. Did y'all get benediction? Oh, no. Not in this one. Ooh, shit. Okay. All right. But yeah, spirit wants you to not slip back into old emotional like patterns, okay? Like I'm getting don't look back or don't go. You were strong enough to walk away, okay? Some something that you had held on to or someone held on to you or you you didn't know if you were supposed to let go of something or someone. All right, you were supposed to if you were confused if you made the right decision or the wrong decision, you made the right decision. Okay, so let's look at the um, Oracle of Shadows and Light and see what that has. All right, so you have card number 36, Mend a Broken Heart Fairy, Healing from Heartache. All right, so that's what a lot of y'all are doing, okay? Y'all, ooh, I'm getting y'all went through it. This was hard. This one was a hard one. Y'all had to walk away even though y'all didn't want to is what I'm getting. Yeah, y'all did not want to walk away. Like, maybe y'all thought someone was going to come back or like, I don't know, apologize or like be strong or stand up to some people or 
you know, have a spine, be a, have a backbone, be grown about some shit. And it just didn't happen. All right, so let's see the divination message. It says, when you have heartache, it's important to treat yourself well. Take time away from the flurry of shoulds you're so often confronted with. Why not take some time to snuggle on the couch with a favorite old movie, have a sniffle, have a long comforting bath and make sure a promise to yourself, I'm sorry, and make sure to promise yourself to let people close who are worthy of your love. It's not about being bitter or guarded, but you're a sensitive and tender, sweet being, and some people are just not. So now's not the time for harshness. Soft blankets, sweet dreams, long baths, and a reduction of the harsh energy around you are best. Then the mended broken heart fairy can fly in to soothe you. You'll feel her presence and she'll lift the pain until all that's left is sweet, gentle wisdom. And I feel like that's exactly what has happened. I feel like, oh my goodness. Yeah, I feel like y'all have healed from a heartache or a heartbreak. And y'all have actually moved on. Like you had the strength to move on. Or some of you didn't believe that you'd have the strength to move on. And you did. You did it. You actually did it. And it just, it took a lot of self-care. All right, and if some of y'all are still going through that, um, we do have cards from the self-care oracle, so we'll pull from those and then look at those. But let's see what the Angels of Atlantis have in store for you all. All right, so you have Archangel Zafkiel Romance. You have Archangel Sandalfon Love. And you have Archangel Uriel Friendship. Okay, so we have Archangel Uriel twice. All right? Two different decks. So what I'm getting is something could start off as a friendship. And then it, it'll be romantic. And then y'all are just fall in love from there. All right? All right, yeah, I'm seeing y'all maybe going slow with somebody. All right? Yeah, maybe y'all are going slow with somebody because... You've been through some shit. I'm also getting this other person has been through some shit too. So it's like, you know, y'all can like, y'all are coming together and healing each other. Like y'all are the healing force that y'all have needed in each other's lives or that like, that support or something like that. But this is, I'm getting true love here. I'm getting true love. Like, it's like with every lesson comes a blessing. This is y'all's blessing. Okay, after the lesson that y'all went through. So, um, yeah, let's see how y'all can take care of yourselves. <laughs> so you have card number 23, family. You have card number 36, movement. Excuse me. And you have card number 28, intuition. Okay. Ah, I'm getting... <sighs> Yes, family, friends, okay? There's like a lot of love with your family and friends, okay? Yeah, there's a lot of love within family and friends now or nowadays, these days. I'm also getting this person you'll have a family with, okay? This new love for you, you're actually gonna have like a very loving family all right, every everything's gonna just feel so good and vibe. Everybody's just gonna be vibing. Movement. So yeah, I'm getting like movement, a lot of movement, or y'all are gonna um do a lot of like physical activity with this person, or you already do a lot of physical activity, or you're physically active, and this person's physically active, so both of y'all just gonna like naturally come together and do things that y'all both love to do. All right. And I'm getting that that's going to be a part of the love, like the fact that y'all have so much in common. All right. And I feel like for y'all, it's like movement. Like maybe y'all like to like do exercise or like work out or, you know, go on hikes, go on walks and stuff like that. All right. And then card number 28, intuition. So I'm getting listen to your intuition about this next phase that you've just come into. All right. <clears throat> Especially about this new friend. Okay this new friend that you're making or have made 
all right listen to your intuition especially in that friendship phase because something's gonna feel really good like it's gonna like they it's, it's giving best friend vibes you feel me like that's what i'm getting so i mean you ain't gotta listen to me listen to your intuition all right <laughs> so let's see what the goddesses have to say you have mau mother earth you're called upon to help with environmentalism you have Dana, High Priestess. You have divine knowledge that can help others through your spiritual teaching. And you have Eric here blossoming. You're just getting started, so have patience with yourself in the process and do not give up. Okay, don't give up on something here. I feel like there's a mission for y'all to do, maybe together. Maybe y'all have a mission together and it has something to do with the earth. Okay, maybe you're meant to spread awareness to the earth or sing or, um, you know, talk about something, podcast, I'm getting even YouTube or like not even just YouTube, like live streaming, stuff like that. Right. But just on a public platform. Because the world is in here twice. Okay. In her throat, in her hand. Right. Like, I'm getting y'all have, y'all are influencers. What's up? Y'all are influencers. Oh, shit. Y'all are just getting started, though, which is great. Or maybe you just, you feel like a beginner, but like, don't worry about it. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't worry about feeling like a beginner. Everybody began somewhere. All right. But you have what it takes. All right. You have what it takes to spread your light to shine your light to help other people you have what it takes there's something about you specifically all right and it might also have something to do with this person that came into your life all right something it's something it's something about this person and it's really something about you all right so let's see what the ancestors have to say all right so you have baby daddy drama <laughs> root chakra good luck solar plexus being investigated and dates yeah y'all are going on a new day y'all have a new day y'all have a new love this person is going to be taking y'all on dates, all right? They're going to be nice, okay? It's not going to be no Netflix and chill shit. Like, y'all might do that later on, but, you know, it's not, the, that's not going to be the date. You feel me? Y'all are going to experience a lot of good luck with this date or dating, your dating life. You're going to experience a lot of good luck. I'm seeing a lot of suitors for y'all. All right, y'all are... Y'all look good, so why not, right? <laughs> right? With the root chakra. Y'all, I feel like y'all are more confident in y'all selves. Like y'all trust y'all selves more. Okay, y'all got two chakras. You have the root and the solar plexus. All right, so that's your confidence. This is your confidence. This is a, your, self, your sense of self-security and like feeling stable. So, I'm, okay, that's really good. Those chakras are strengthening. But I'm also feeling like there was some this person here that you're healing from this baby daddy or some shit or maybe you wanted him to be the father of your children or maybe you're a baby daddy i don't fucking know take it as it resonates right but this person tried to fuck with these chakras here so you had the strength the strength all right the strength to tame something here you tame something, you tame the beast, or someone tried to t tame you. They thought that you were a wild beast, but you're you are not to be tamed. You're not a fucking beast. All right, y'all are this angel, is what I'm getting. Someone they were the beast. I'm getting someone was the beast, but they're projecting onto you. All right, their energy, they're projecting your energy. They're trying to siphon your soul or like your spirit or make you feel like less confident. Okay, less strong. They were trying to they were trying to knock you off. Is what I'm getting. This person, whoever was someone was trying to knock you off. All right. 
But whoever this person is, they're being investigated. All right? They're being investigated. Whoever the fuck that is. All right? That's just their karma. You feel me? Wow. Yeah, but I'm getting that these chakras have really strengthened back up. Like, you know how to heal them. You know how to work through, like, like certain chakras. And it's like the movement is what is healing you. All right? Or, like, you and this person, like I said, y'all might be doing a lot of movement. And this movement is um, helping to heal all, all of these blocked chakras that y'all have. And y'all are doing it together. All right? So that's what I have for my beautiful orange calcite crew. All right, this was a great one. So if this resonated with you, please give me a thumbs up. Donate to the channel if you feel so, you know, generous too. That's in the description box down below. Also, if you want a personal reading, that information is in the description box down below. All right. So I love you all so much. That was a lot of words. I love you all so much and I'll talk to you all later. Okay, what's up? How number three, almost like group number three, that picked the sulfur. All right, so let's see what the spirit of sulfur has to tell you. Okay, so you have the five of swords, an unwise choice. There's a better way that'll make you happier. Avoid people who lack integrity or who have questionable motives. Oh, shit. I heard sookie sookie now. What the hell? Who's, whose ancestor is that? That's an old one. That's old. That's old. <laughs> okay. All right. So let's look at y'all's tarot cards. So you have the hermit. You have the magician. And you have the page of wands. Okay. <laughs> That's how I feel. That's what your ancestors are doing. They're laughing. Oh my gosh. Y'all, some of y'all's ancestors are funny. Someone really thought that they could pull one over on y'all. That's what I'm seeing right here. Y'all are so intuitive. Something happened is what I'm getting. You went within, okay, found the magic within. You've been praying a lot talking to your ancestors a lot, okay? They, I feel like they gifted y'all something. Y'all got a gift or a spiritual gift or a download or something like that. But I'm getting that they gave it to you, all right? Some of y'all may be related uh, to the felines, Lyra, okay? They may be a thing or you see a lot of cats or you, um, you are associated with cats or some shit, all right? But... You have magical blood. You have ancient blood. So, somebody was watching somebody do something and they were like, this dumbass motherfucker. Like, somebody was so, they really thought they were going to get away with it. I, I'm hearing Scooby-Doo. Scooby-Dooby-Doo. Where are you? I'm hearing, I would have got away with it if it wasn't for those meddling kids. They were laughing the whole time. Maybe they were making fun of you, you know, talking shit, key king with their friends. All right, I heard somebody fucked up. Ooh, they fucked with the right one. They were fucking with the right one. Damn, Scooby Dooby Doo, where are you? We got some work to do. Now let's tap into the Akashic Records, cause. We're going deeper. Wow. Two of keys, the treasure. Look at this man's face. Look what the fuck happened. Somebody ransacked his shit. Okay, so somebody could have stolen something from you. Or maybe somebody thought that they stole something from you or someone. Ugh. Ugh. This energy. This energy, bro. Let's see what the two of keys is. All right, so the two of keys says a man looks dejectedly at a smashed treasure treasure chest 
in a room that obviously has been robbed and plundered. Behind him, a stream of light shines. I wonder if y'all can see that. Let me put it closer. So behind him, a stream of light shines from below the lid of an unbroken chest that rests on a small table, the only piece of furniture in the room that hasn't been touched. That is so interesting. This card represents a great loss or disappointment in your life right now. It could be the loss of a job, a relationship, or even an opportunity. But rem remember that this phase is temporary. It might take some time and effort to rally your forces to recover, but there's a great treasure within you that's always available. Wow, the little chest represents that part of you that's filled with light. It isn't vulnerable and it can never be lost or damaged. When you focus on what's wrong or what's lacking, it perpetuates your sense of, of emptiness and victimization. So don't let yourself get lost in your loss. Open the lid to your light and let it illuminate your way. There are other opportunities and greater wealth waiting for you to discover. Somebody saw, thought that they stole something from you or they took something from you and they were just, somebody was, people were looking at this person or these people like, what the fuck is wrong with them? Like, this is such a bad idea. Like, I'm just hearing that was such a fucking bad idea or like a bad investment or some shit like that. Like, they, oh man. They took everything except what was most important, right? They took, they did take shit, right? Let, like, we're not going to overlook that. They took some shit. They really did. But what was most important is this light. I'm just, I keep getting this light, right? This lantern here, this lantern back here, talking about the light within, your power, the power within, all right? Maybe they tried to do something to your light, okay? You, you were already hit to the game. <laughs> You've been praying. You've been praying. Your prayers counteracted something here, all right? Your prayers counteracted something here. Your ancestors did a re reversal, a return to sender. Your chest, your chest. I'm getting your heart, your heart and your soul. Something must have really hurt your heart and your soul or someone was trying to get you at, at your heart and your soul. This is a hex or a curse, okay? That's what that was. And that's what sulfur breaks is hexes and curses. So y'all are breaking this hex or curse. Oh, this hex or curse has been broken, it's been lifted, okay? Somebody made a bad, poor decision. Poor, poor, poor decision. And they're very poor now. <laughs> I heard they're very poor now. <laughs> they're very poor now. All right. So whatever that means. Um, all right. So let's move on to Oracle of Shadows and Light. You have card number 27, Strange Valentine. Love is strange. All right. I'm getting Beauty and the Beast. What the hell? I don't know. All right, let's look at card number 27 and see what that is. All right, so the divination message says, you may experience a massive surge in emotional energy and new romantic beginnings. So it's very likely you'll attract, encounter, or simply bump into someone who reawakens long lost feelings inside you and who may not be your type, quote unquote type. Hurrah! You'll wake up feeling bright, aware, dynamic, and sometimes feeling giddy with delight. This is very good news. Love is indeed strange and wonderful. So that's a new beginning for you. You all have manifested new love in your life. That's what they didn't know, okay? Is that regardless, that person or whoever, whatever, wasn't for you at the end of the day. I'm getting cat fights. I'm getting petty shit. Cats. Oh, yeah, that's what that was. Cat fights. <laughs> I'm hearing, um, y'all heard of, uh, what's her name? What's her name? Oh, Vicky. Whoa, Vicky. When she talks, she wants she say, a pussy ass hoe could never. And I feel like that's how y'all feel. And that's like, 
that's the energy your ancestors is coming with like a pussy ass hoe could never like not with you never like ever in life nobody could touch you nobody could do nothing to you like they're not as strong as you they're not as smart as you they probably don't even look as good as you your energy is high or something like that maybe some of them tried to fuck with your confidence as well or they thought that they were fucking i don't know i don't know what these people thought okay take it as it resonates but it's just the fuck shit that we're trying to do really just went back onto them okay yeah it, it, it yeah all right so let's um tap into the angels of atlantis all right so you have archangel haniel integrity okay so you have integrity you are working out of integrity remember what the five of swords said it said avoid people who lack integrity or who have questionable motives okay someone was a thief or someone was trying to steal from you maybe someone actually tried to someone maybe did steal from you or like broke into your shit or like some shit like that right or they were trying to get with you to get something or get clout off of you or fame or money, something like that. Someone was trying to use you. Long story short, all right? Um, and so I'm seeing the balance has been restored in your world or in your life. The most high is balancing the scales because you are working out of integrity and someone was not. So something's finna tip. Something's finna fall is what I'm getting. Something's finna like the scales, you know what I'm saying? I don't, something is heavy, all right? Someone, someone put a very heavy burden on themselves. All right, so you have Archangel Gabriel Benediction. So I'm just getting healing hands. Are y'all are, y'all are very like, anything you touch turns to gold. All right, that's what maybe you don't understand or something like that or People know this about you and they're trying to like stop it, but it can't be stopped. Like this is God given. I don't know when people are gonna learn. Like, damn, you can't take away something God gave somebody else. All right. And then you have Archangel Metatron wisdom. I heard Merkaba. Yes, your Merkaba is intact, your light body. You've gained so much wisdom. I'm getting that you've Remet you're remembering things now or you're bringing yourself back together pulling back all the parts of you that were lost reclaiming your power is what i'm hearing you've reclaimed your power oh that's nice yeah you've reclaimed your power you've gained so much wisdom through something here and i'm also getting skill you y'all have gained a lot of skills a skill set maybe a new skill set all right, or you're learning it something you've learned something new about yourself, or you've learned that you have a certain type of skill set, or you have a certain type of gift. Okay, all right. So let's see how y'all can take care of yourselves. So you have card number 33, make a vision board. All right, you have card number 54, watch a movie. And you have card number 14, connect with your ancestors. Mm -hmm. All right, so vision board. Yeah, y'all need to make a vision board of the things that you want. Okay, because you're going to get it. You're, you're getting it. All right, so if there's something that you're wanting, like really bad, or like you've been thinking about it or something like that, or you're trying to manifest in your life, definitely with this magician card here, and this like reflection card here, this uh, hermit card here, you're finna get it, all right? You finna get it. Yeah, watch a movie, all right? It's something about felines. It's really, it's something about feeling. There's about to be a movie that y'all watch soon that's gonna like, y'all are really gonna like it or you're gonna understand something from a movie maybe about yourself or about someone, okay? But a movie, okay? It may be a documentary or some shit, but you're about to gain some type of like information here. Someone's integrity, okay? I don't know, I'm, for, for this group, 
but the movie thing i'm gonna just like say this and then we can move on but for me personally i did just watch a documentary about bob marley and for some reason that's like that's like a thing for me right now in this in y'all's reading right like what he had done like he spread the word of love you know what i'm saying love and all of that he spread love and like a, a message he spread a message to the world but it's some things about him that people don't know okay and it's like he lacked integrity about certain things and he hurt people you know he he hurt the people closest to him and which ended up you know, he, he was hurting himself at the end of the day, you know, by, by not living in integrity, like not living by his word, basically, you know, so he is an ancestor and that is something that he's taught us is to live. I feel like live by our word, like you're even for a man, like you're nothing without your word, you know. And then for others of y'all, I'm getting, like I said earlier about your ancestors, your ancestors are helping you and watching you. They've seen all the things that these people have done to you, right? And they're delivering an ass open or they have delivered, okay? So let's see what the um, goddesses have to say. All right, so you have Mary Magdalene, unconditional love. Love yourself, others in every situation, no matter what the outward appearances may be. Okay. You have Hathor, receptivity, allow yourself to receive. This will increase your intuition, energy, and ability to give to others. All right, and then you have Diana, focused intention. Keep your unwavering thoughts, feelings, and actions focused on your target, and you'll make your mark. love there's a lot about love here okay so yeah i'm just getting like maybe some of y'all like were in love with somebody and they fucking hold you i'm getting they fucking hold <laughs> they hold or uh, they messed you over okay they thought that they were gonna get away with something at first they're laughing now they're crying like but you see the whole picture you see everything for what it is you see everyone for who it is who they are and what parts they played in the whole saga is what I'm hearing. The drama. You feel me? I'm getting drama. It was drama. All right. But, you know, it's someone that you will always love or have love for. But you would never be in love with somebody again for some of y'all. Okay. Yeah, because somebody really, like, they they went overboard with something. Or they really just, they just fucked up. Something is irreparable. All right. Um, For others of you. Yeah, I'm feeling like you've grown from something here or yeah, you've grown. Yeah, you're understanding that something was meant to push you forward or help you grow or this was like spiritual lessons. Spiritual growth is what I'm getting. I'm getting spiritual growth for love y'all. So y'all may have grown a lot spiritually or like, like I'll get, I think your gifts have grown as well. All right. Yeah, your gifts have grown. Your intuition has increased. You become more receptive and understanding. It's like now it's like which I heard which what you see. That was the last reading I did. So maybe y'all should watch what you see is what you get. The last thing that I posted, the green or if she's not green, it's pink, the pink background with the ball head. Yeah, y'all are gonna relate to that one. What you see is what you get with y'all. Because y'all are people that have integrity. All right. So y'all are just receptive and open to seeing exactly what it, you're not fooling yourselves anymore like you're not listening to people talk anymore you're just watching their actions now is what i'm getting from you all so yeah y'all are open to receiving like the messages that the most high is giving you all is also what i'm getting and the gifts all right y'all are getting new gifts all right so you have diana focus and yeah so focus on the things that you're wanting because you are going to get it like i said with this vision board, that's going to be the way to manifest these things into your life. I don't know what it is. It's it's because it's your thoughts and your feelings are connected for the vision board is what I'm getting. So that's why it's going to work for you. Yeah. Okay. 
So yeah, do that. That's, that's what they want y'all to do. So let's tap into the ancestor messages. All right, so you have, they wanted you to die. Yep, that's that's what it, they pay for. Somebody pay for something to happen to you. Whoa, karmic, a karmic, or this person? Yeah, this person is a karmic, or they have bad karma now. Oh, their car, their bad karma is an STD. All right, they're fucking around with somebody, and they fucked up. They fucked around and fucked up. All right, but the divine got your back, most definitely. The divine was protecting you this whole time. Nothing was going to touch you. No one was going to touch you. Or you are untouchable. Nothing was going to harm you. No magic. No black magic. No no ill will. No evil eye. None of that bullshit was going to touch you. This person was pillow talking with, this, with somebody. Okay? With somebody behind your back. Or with hoes. Or like fe people, that, females or males that they were with. Pillow talking. Talking shit about you T saying spreading lies and rumors about you wow what the fuck see the truth that's the truth this person was fucking lying and you were the truth the whole time what the fuck you were the truth the whole time all right whatever this person may have said or done behind your back or if they try to paint a picture about how you were or whatever People are seeing the truth of this person here, all right? It's like, there's something wrong with this person, bro. Like, they really stole, they tried to really take from you. They tried to take your light, all right, or take your light out or, like, end you. They tried to end you in some way. Even spiritually is also what I'm getting. Some of them tried to end you spiritually, they may have gone to people to pay, pay for things to be done or gone to spiritualists and shit like that, you know? Nah, bro. They don't, they fuck, like I said in the beginning, they fucked with the right one. They fucked with the right one. Because the divine is whooping that ass. I've seen somebody get bitch slapped. Damn. Damn, talking shit to hoes that don't need to know shit. They don't need to know shit. In fact, they're just lying to these people because they wanted attention. They wanted approval. They wanted their pussy ate or their dick sucked. Like, I'm sorry, it came out so vulgar for y'all. But that's exactly what it, like, that was, that's, that's what it was. It's just some grimy ass shit. Okay, like these were some grimy ass motherfuckers, like on some really real shit. But you know what? They're getting their just due. All right, so I love y'all so much. If this fruit resonated with y'all, give me a thumbs up. All right, damn. Um, if you want a personal reading, that information is in the description box down below. And also donate to my channel. That information is down below as well. All right, so I love y'all so much and I'll talk to y'all later.